The Haitian mango itself uh, is a variety that isn't grown anywhere else in the world. It's called the Francique mango. And it's known to the mango connoisseurs of the world as the sweetest mango there is. These Francique mangoes, nobody knows where they came from. Everybody esteems that they're actually out of a variety of mango from India called the Bombay mango. The growing period for the Haitian Francis mango is relatively short. The, the harvest season is between six to eight weeks. And that's a, that's a really short window, depending on where they are in the country. It could be that their harvest is literally two weeks. And that's it. And that's all the money that they may earn in the entire year. The history of, of uh, mango production and mango sales for, for the producers that we deal with in, in Haiti is is one really of, of um, not getting a fair price. Part of it is because of the logistics, uh, the difficulty in getting to market, the ability to harvest them themselves. It's an extremely important aspect of, of what we're doing there, and supporting these people taking responsibility for their lives, for their fruit. The Haitian mangoes are grown by individual farmers. They're really trees that exist in people's backyards or on people's land. It's not farm or plantation based at all. So there are thousands of individual farmers. A tree can be 40 to 50 feet tall, can be 80 years old. So the pickers in the tree, somebody can pick by hand, somebody cannot. He picks with a cayette, which is a long stick with a sack on the end. And with a sack, he kind of jiggles it and catches the mango, brings the stick in, takes the mango out of the bag, throws it down. Then they're loaded either into baskets or basins, and people carry them on their heads or on the backs of donkeys, and then take them out near a road. Then they, the groups come and take it, or if there is a base, a base can be underneath a mango tree or in somebody's front, front porch, where they lay the mangoes out and wash them and dry them and set them overnight. Next day, they are shipped off to the export plant. When you're, when you're dealing with any crop in a developing country, you have to have logistical support in the country. Otherwise, they're just standing on the side of the road uh, with some boxes of mangoes, or somebody comes and says, I'll pick your mangoes off your tree. Ferry Exports uh, supplies the logistics for all of these I mean, literally thousands of uh, small producers. The quality of control starts first with the pickers, the guy who picks the mangoes in the field. That's the first and most important quality control person. After that, whenever it comes in the packing house, we have our selectioner, the guy that, that sorts the fruits, and uh, you know these guys know exactly what to look for. Through the Fair Trade Program, what we've been doing in the past couple of years is helping these groups organize themselves into associations. The work that uh, Perry has done is to uh, help groups come together. The Perrys support the leaders of the groups and make sure they have a good market for the fruit that they sell through the groups so that the members understand it's better to sell through the group than it is to try to sell on your own. Uh, we get more money to them that way. After a couple of years, they've started to understand that. Uh, people are starting to see the impact, so now more people are joining the groups. We have lâché mango à pichet dans mes plantes yo, et les nous pas de penser que ils finissent pour mango à l'aller. Et puis après, les nous puis mal ils trouvent un petit bénéfice, un petit bénéfice bon nous, et qui obligé fait nous sentir que nous gagnons une organisation qui travaille ensemble avec nous. 
there were farmers in the organization that um, were receiving their fair trade premium today. So we came here today um, with extra money that they were going to have, their second payment, where farmers came up, they signed their name, and they got their envelope for how much mango, based on a percentage of how many mangoes they delivered to their cooperative. It has an enormous direct impact on the people that are growing this fruit, who own these trees. Working with small producers is a big challenge in Haiti. And I think uh, what I have uh, learned from F University can help me to improve the conditions of life in small uh, towns in Haiti. This is an opportunity with what, what seems to be a very small experience to buy a mango to actually make a difference in the world. I can see a, the, a, the hope for a better future in Haiti right now. Thank you.